how it was going to go once you got your chance, or yeah, you know, surprised I, at all with kind of the production? I mean, I, Coach Huff always says, you know, work hard, give it your all, and look at the results after. So, I mean, right now it's a little overwhelming, you know, a little new for me, but yeah, it's a great experience. At what point did you know Colt wasn't going to be playing, that you were going to get that kind of opportunity? You know, he's missed some practices, but uh, yesterday was when I got the, you know, the official, I, I'm starting, so. From then on, my mindset was just, you know, make the best of my situation. You said yesterday you didn't, you know, you were nervous, but you didn't want to admit it. So yeah. how did you feel like at kickoff? You know what? The nerves kind of overnight they kind of went away. I knew my assignments. I knew what I was doing. I was confident, and I just had to execute. Is there that point kind of people talk about where once the game starts, sort of everything calms down? Yeah. Once you know, once even before the game, once you start warming up, I got you know just in the zone and okay. locked out everything else, just worried about football. Did you think you were going to be that big a part of the game plan? You know, I hope so, but uh, you know, I was ready for you know if I got my shot, I was going to run my route, get open, I got the ball, do what I can when I get it, and you know, it went great. Yeah. Coach has raved about you throughout camp. Did you surprise yourself even a little bit though with your performance today? Definitely, I did. I mean, I wasn't expecting this, but I'm definitely happy it, it happened, and uh, I just had a great time out there. They went to you early in the game, Johnny. Did that help you? I think the second pass was to you, and then you got the 57 yarder, and then the touchdown that kind of helped you get involved early. Yeah, definitely. It just built up my confidence, you know. Kind of got my first catch out of the way, so to speak. And from then on, it was just building on that. And I give uh, a lot of thanks to my teammates that were picking me up and, you know, pushing me through more and more. How about that first touchdown? What was that like? It was surreal. It was amazing. Uh, nothing else felt like that. Just hearing the crowd roar. And have my team, you know, picking me up behind me. It's just, it's a great feeling. You, you mentioned hear the it. chance of the uh, We Want Bama. What was that? Did you hear the chance of We Want Bama? I did not hear that chant. I did. What, what do you think about that? I'm just worried about Cal after the bye week. Yeah. Johnny, did you see a tweet from Colt? I did not see a tweet. I actually uh, deactivated my Twitter a few days ago. Has he contacted you since the end of the game? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't gone through my phone just yet. He tweeted the uh, month right. What did he say? He tweeted a month for Heisman. Heisman. What do you think? That's hilarious. Colt's a funny guy. Um, talk about um, some can passes. You can get a passage from, from Marcus. And he was on today. He was, yes, he was. He put the ball right on you. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. You know, when you're, when you're running around and you know you're open, you just make eye contact with the quarterback almost. And, you know, when I was open, even before the play, I knew I was going to be open. And, you know, just having that connection, that's that's what the chemistry that just builds on that and just gets the whole team going. The reaction of the guys in the locker room. Oh, they were just, they were chanting, and yeah. <laughs> I was a little embarrassed. But, you know, I got to lead the fight song, and that was a great experience. Hey, Johnny, do you know why Colts missed practice? Um, I've heard that he was really sick. You know, he's been with the doctors and he just, just some, some uh, illness, I'm not sure what it is yet.